video we're going to talk about fault code E911 which you can see flashing here it's the most common fault code on the Samsung unit it's also the simplest to solve so E911 means that the water is not moving fast enough so the first thing you need to do is press your on off button and start the unit again and you'll see the pump symbol is shown on the screen here and when we come out to our system you can see that the pump is running it's important to check the pump is set on full speed so some of them have an adjustment that you can adjust on the front. The next thing we need to look at is what is the speed of the water through the system. So you're looking for your flow meter and this is our flow meter here. If you put a torch behind it you can actually see the flow rate on this flow switch. So you can see here that a lot of people would read this as something like 16 litres a minute, but actually the flow rate is at the other end of the flow meter. So if we turn the flow up, you can see here, this is actually 20 litres a minute, not 30 litres a minute. The level that we want on our system is at least 20 litres. So if it's very low, like this, this is all the E911 means. Okay, so if you have low flow, you need to look at a few things. First off, you need to check that your Close your filter ball here is fully open, so in this case, full open. You need to check that it's clean by removing the cap at the back and cleaning the gauze. You need to check your pumps are flat out and all valves, like your pump valves and your heating valves and your hot water valves are also open. If all of that is done and the flow rate is still too low, you need to talk, call us and discuss maybe buying bigger pumps for your system. If your flow rate is high, so in this case here you can see I've now got 24 litres, 26 litres of water going through the system. If it still has E911, there's something wrong with your flow switch. And your flow switch looks like this. It's a little simple thing. You can see very clearly labelled as an arrow saying flow. In our case, the water is going down. So first off, the flow switch is in the right place. The next thing is you need to check your grey cable is plugged into the PCB. It plugs in the PCB in a blue plug. But if you think you've got a problem with your flow switch, all we need to do is remove it from the water and test it. So, first off, you need to shut valves either side. So in our case, we can shut this one. And also, there is a valve here in our flow meter, which we can close. And then you unscrew the collar and take the valve out. Over here, we have a flow switch we removed already. So you can see it here. What we need to do is test it with a multimeter. So go to your meter and set it to the beep setting that you can see very clearly here. Now we're gonna to touch the leads together and show it beeps if we have continuity. Now we need to take our flow switch and plug the leads of the flow switch into the multimeter. So stick them in like this. So one in each side. And now when we go to our flow switch, when we activate the paddle, you can see it beeps when we pull it. This is how it should operate. If it beeps constantly, it's broken. And if it doesn't bleep at all, it's broken. This one is perfect. So when we put it back in the water, it should be perfectly okay. And that is all you need to do.